Hello traders, hope you are doing well. In today's video, we will be discussing about a very powerful price action strategy using the Heikenashi indicator. Now it doesn't matter if you are a beginner or if you are a working professional who do not have time to watch the market. If you just follow the rules that I am going to tell you today, I am very sure that you can make consistent profit with this strategy. Now the length of this video can be around 30 minutes or so. Do not worry about the length. Please watch this video with complete focus and attention because all the points that I am going to discuss today is very very important. Traders, it takes a lot of time for us to create such content for you. All I ask you in return is to motivate us and show your support by liking this video. Now without any further delay, let's get into today's topic. Traders, the first thing we need to understand is this is a trend based strategy. This means only when the market is trending we will use this strategy. Now what are the situations when the market will be trending? Situation number one, if the market is making a movement like this forming low, high, higher lows and higher highs this simply means the market is an uptrend. At this time we look for buying opportunities. Now if the market is making a movement like this forming lower highs and lower lows this simply means the market is in downtrend. At this time, we look for selling opportunities. Now there are certain situations where there will be indecision in the market, where the market will be trading within a range like this between the support and resistance level. There is indecision between the buyers and sellers. We don't know who is strong. We call this range as consolidation range. Now if the market is in consolidation at a higher time frame, we will not take any trades. Now it doesn't matter if you don't know how to find uptrend and downtrend in the market. As we move forward with this video, this will be clearly explained to you in the live market charts. Okay? So always remember during an uptrend, we look for buying opportunity. During a downtrend, we look for selling opportunity. And when the market is in consolidation, we will not take a trade. Traders, what you're seeing right now is a chart of Bank Nifty. Now one of the main reason why a lot of beginners lose their money in the stock market is because they are not able to identify the market trend or the current market sentiment. We cannot blame them. If a market is making movements like this, random red candles and random green candles, of course it's going to be difficult for them to understand the current market sentiment. If a beginner takes entry in any of these random places, most of the time the trade will end up in loss. Sometimes by luck they can make profit. Now what if there is an indicator which you can use to reduce this kind of confusion while reading the charts. Fortunately, there is a candlestick pattern which you can use to reduce this kind of noise in the market. Now what you're seeing right now is the same chart with Heikenashi candlestick pattern. You can clearly see that there is a lot of trading opportunities in Heikenashi trading pattern. At the same time, it is less confusing than the normal Japanese candlestick patterns. Now what is Heikenashi pattern? How to use this in the live market? Now what are the rules that we strictly need to follow to make consistent profit with Heikenashi pattern? All of these things we'll be discussing in this video. Traders. What you're seeing right now is a chart of Nifty 50. I have chosen 4 hours time frame. The candlestick pattern which you're seeing here is called Japanese candlestick pattern. This one. This is the standard candlestick pattern everybody uses. Now if I observe this chart on a 4 hour time frame, I can clearly see that the market is creating a high. It's creating a low here. It's creating a lower high. And then it's creating a lower low. Correct? This clearly shows Nifty is currently in a downtrend. Now from here the market can go up and from there it can reverse also. Now the problem with beginners is they do not wait for the market to create a trend. In this case we waited until the market created a downtrend on a higher time frame. 4 hour time frame. Many of the beginners they will try to enter the trade here, here. As soon as the market open, they will try to enter here. So if you try to enter in these random places without a proper trend confirmation, then of course there are going to be losses, right? Now it's very important that you identify a trend and you follow the trend. In this case, the market is going in a downtrend. So you should look for selling opportunities. 
not buying opportunities now those who are finding it very difficult to identify trend like this we can use haikanashi candlesticks to identify the trend more clearly and easily now traders what we will do is let us open one more nifty 50 chart so you can observe here on the left side also we have nifty 50 chart 4 hour time frame on the right side also it's the same nifty 50 chart 4 hour time frame you can see all the candles are same now those who are finding it difficult to find the current market trend by looking at the traditional candlestick pattern that is the Japanese candlestick pattern what we can do is we can switch to Haikanashi so on the right side chart what I will do is I will go here to candlestick section here I will choose Haikanashi now can you see there is a very big difference between the, this chart and this chart the chart which is there on the right side looks more smoother than the chart on the left side correct here you can see continuous green candles which shows a bullish signal and after this it clearly is showing you the downtrend confirmation now if you are a beginner is it easy for you to understand the current market trend looking at this kind of candlestick pattern or this kind of candlestick pattern this is more smoother and better right so that is why if you use Haikanashi you can identify the trend more easily so how to choose Haikanashi just go to this candlestick section and change it to Haikanashi the chart will become like this now once we identify the market trend on a higher time frame using the Haikanashi tool we need to switch to lower time frame and find trading opportunities now in this Haikanashi chart 4 hour time frame the market is going towards the downside so it will be a wise decision to look for selling opportunities rather than buying opportunities so lower time frame here on this chart let us say I choose one hour okay this is a one hour chart of nifty now here you can see continuous green candles and continuous red candle now the common mistake which a beginner will do is whenever he sees red candle he look for selling whenever he sees green candle like this he will try to buy without any proper logic if you trade like this there are high probability that the market will give you a false breakout and you will lose the trade so what you need to do is you need to follow all the rules which is taught in this video to make consistent profit with this strategy once you learn the rules please backtest the strategy by doing paper trade or by training with small quantities once you gain the confidence then you can start increasing the lot size but sticking to all the rules which I tell in this video is very important so please pay complete focus and attention now the main question which a lot of people will have is why is the same chart looking different in Haikanashi compared to the traditional candlestick chart you need to understand this only then you will have better idea about how to trade with Haikanashi strategy now the most common way how people read charts is using the traditional candlesticks there will be red candle and green candle now for a green candle this level will be considered as the open of the candle this level is considered as the close of the candle can you see a white line in between that is called a wick now the lowest point of the wick will be considered as low the highest point of the wick will be considered as high now for a red candle the open and close will be just opposite for example this is a red candle for this this level will be considered as the opening of the candle this level will be considered as the close of the candle now this level this is the high of the candle and this one is the low of the candle correct now in traditional candlestick pattern the current candle does not have any relationship with the previous candle this simply means that let's say you're trading on a five minutes time frame the latest candle will show the open low high and close of that particular candle it will not take data from the previous candles traders what I'm trying to tell you here is very simple see this is the same nifty 50 chart 4 hour time frame let's choose a candle okay maybe this candle so this particular candle 4 hour candle is only taking data and showing what happened in that particular 4 hours where the market opened here this is the close this is the high of the candle and this is the low of the candle it does not take data from the previous candle 
it only shows for that particular 4 hours what was the market momentum but haikan ashi is a bit different it takes data from the previous candles now let's understand what does haikan ashi mean this is a japanese term in japan haikan means average ashi means bar so in simple way if i have to tell you in a haikan ashi candlestick pattern the current candle value is calculated by taking two period moving average so previous candles open high low and close values are taken into consideration to provide the average value of the current candle now just imagine this green candle as our current candle now the value of this current candle is derived by taking the values of the previous candle just imagine this red candle as the previous candle now if you are interested this is how the open of the candle is calculated open plus close of the previous candle divide by 2 so this is how close is calculated open plus high plus low plus close divided by 4 and this is how the high of the candle is calculated and this is how the low of the candle is calculated now my sincere advice to you guys is you don't have to go and calculate all these values you don't have to by heart it you don't have to learn it just for education purpose i'm telling you how this is calculated because in the live market as soon as you choose the haikan ashi indicator the system only will automatically apply this formula and give you the average value of the current candle this is the same nifty 50 chart 4 hour time frame which you saw earlier i am using traditional candlestick in traditional candlestick what happens is let's say i take this candle this candle's open close high and low level is calculated by taking the actual value of the current candle it does not have any relationship with the previous 4 hour candle but let me switch to haikan ashi now as soon as we switch to haikan ashi we can see there is a smooth momentum in the market this is because in haikan ashi the current candle's value is derived by taking an average value of the previous candle so this candle's value is derived by taking an average of this previous candle so this open close high and low level value is calculated by taking the data from the previous candle it is averaging it out so in haikan ashi since the current candles value is derived by taking the previous candles value haikan ashi can be considered as a lagging indicator not a leading indicator this simply means that when you trade with haikan ashi there will be a slight change in the current market price compared to the price what is shown in haikan ashi there is going to be a very slight difference itself not a huge difference but the slight price difference can cause more problem when you are trading with the strategy in options because it's not showing the actual price most of the time the high and the low levels will be the same but opening and closing will be little different so if you are starting to trade with the strategy do not try to trade with the strategy in options because there will be a slight variation in price compared to the actual market price when you trade in haikan ashi if you are an expert trader you can trade in options but you need to be a person who understands option greeks what is gamma what is delta what is vega all these things you need to understand if you don't have basic knowledge about options try trading with the strategy in futures and stocks now that you know what is haikan ashi how to plot this indicator on the chart let's understand the rules that we need to follow to make consistent profit with this strategy traders i have personally noticed many of the beginners who use traditional candlestick pattern and trade they try to learn about all the types of candlesticks what is marabosa candle short candle doji candle hama candle shooting star candle did you know there is a book in which there are 300 400 different types of candlestick patterns do you think learning about all this makes a trade better of course not i personally believe a good trader is not the one who learns everything a good trader is a one who learns what is necessary so don't waste your time by learning about all the different types of candle patterns now if you want to trade with this haikan ashi strategy there are only three patterns that you need to know these patterns are very simple easy to understand there is no complication at all let us see these three types of candle patterns now now traders the first type of candle is called bullish candle this is how it looks a green candle with a huge wick at the top okay and there is no wick at the bottom when you see this kind of candle 
we will be looking for buying opportunity. Now the second type of candle is called bearish candle and this is how it looks. A red candle with a huge wick at the bottom and there should not be any wick at the top. When you see this kind of candle, we will look for selling opportunity. Now the third type of candle is called weak candle. A weak candle can look like this. There will be a huge wick at the bottom and there will be a huge wick at the top. We call this weak candle because there is indecision between the buyer and seller in this candle. Now this weak candle can be red or green color. The only thing that you need to remember is if any candle there is huge wick at the top like this and there is also a huge wick like this at the bottom, it will be considered as a weak candle. Now what you need to do when you see a weak candle, all that you will be learning as we move forward. Traders, now we are going to learn how to trade with this Heikanashi strategy. I'll be telling you all the rules that you need to follow to make consistent profit with the strategy. So please pay complete focus and attention. The first thing that we need to do is we need to check the trend of the market on a higher time frame. See, this is a chart of Bank Nifty 4 hour time frame. Now what I can observe here is the market is creating a high. It's creating a low. We can consider this as a lower high and we can consider this as lower low. So here only we can clearly see that on a 4 hour chart, Bank Nifty is in a downtrend. So on a higher time frame, we found out that Bank Nifty is on a downtrend. Now if you are a beginner, you are finding it difficult to identify a trend using the traditional candlestick, you just go here, choose Heikanashi. Now you can easily identify the trend, high, low, this is a lower high, and this is the lower low. Now once we identify the trend on a higher time frame, like 4 hour time frame, we need to switch to lower time frame. But before that, there are some important things I have to tell you. Now this red candle that you are seeing without any wick at the top, no wick at the top right? This is our bearish confirmation candle to enter the trade. Now instead of Bank Nifty being in a downtrend, if Bank Nifty is in an uptrend making higher lows and higher high, we need to look only for buying opportunity. For buying, a green candle without any wick at the bottom is the entry candle, okay? For a bearish market, a red candle without any wick at the top is our entry candle. Now all these candles where both the side you have wick, it doesn't matter, a green candle or a red candle, all these are weak candles. So when the market is bullish, a green candle without wick at the bottom is our confirmation candle. For bearish signal, a red candle without wick at the top is our confirmation entry candle. Now this does not mean when a market is downtrend, as soon as you see a red candle like this, bearish confirmation candle, you will enter the trade. If you do that, you will end up in losses. Only using a Heikanashi candles, we should not trade. We should add additional confirmation. For that, we are going to use one more indicator. Now the name of this indicator is called EMA. EMA exponential moving average. So I will choose this. This blue line what you're seeing, it's our exponential moving average. You have to go here, click on settings. And here you need to make sure the length to be 10. So this is 10 period exponential moving average. And then we'll change the style. I will choose yellow color. I'll increase the size. All right. So this yellow line what you're seeing is our 10 period exponential moving average. Now there is one more indicator which you need to add. Again go to indicator. Again you will choose EMA. Exponential moving average. Now this exponential moving average we will be choosing 30 period moving average. So this color let me change it to red color. I'll increase the size. All right. Traders now we have all the necessary tool to trade with this strategy. Now we are using 10 period exponential moving average and 30 period exponential moving average to understand the momentum of the market. We will use this 10 period moving average to identify our entry point when the market is trending. Now in this case we already saw that the market is in downtrend high, low, lower high and lower lows. Now we need to look only for selling opportunity. Now Whenever this 10 period exponential moving average comes below 30 period moving average and then we get a confirmation candle, a red confirmation candle without any wick at the top, we will plan our entry. 
Till now, what we have done is on a four hour time frame, we have identified the trend of the market. Next, what we need to do is we need to switch to lower time frame. In this case, I will choose one hour time frame. Now in this one hour time frame is where we are going to plan our entry. So where do we plan our entry? Let me show you. Now on a lower time frame, when you can identify the market creating a high, low and lower high, we will get ready to place our entry. Whenever this 10 period moving average, that is this yellow color line comes below the 30 period moving average. That is when we will plan our entry. Okay. So here and all the 10 period moving average is above 30 period. During a downtrend, it has to be below to take entry. But here also we are not taking entry because high, low and lower high is not formed. So we are going to wait for our position. Then here we can see a red candle, right? This is a bearish candle without any wick at the top. So this red candle is our entry candle. When the next candle opens, we will plan our entry. Let's say we are taking trade somewhere here when the next candle opens and our stop loss will be the previous swing high, the lower high level. Now after we enter here, what happened? The market continuously, it went down. Now when do we plan our exit? We plan our exit when we get a bullish candle. When we get a bullish candle, that is when we exit the trade. Now sometimes this green candles can also be a fake signal. After this, the market went down, but we do not care. We only stick to our strategy. So what we did here, we got ready as soon as we saw a bearish candle. Let me zoom. As soon as we saw this bearish candle, we got ready for the trade. We entered the trade when the next candle opened. Stop loss is swing high and target is this level, bullish candle without any wick. Sometimes this can also be fake breakout, right? In this case, it was a fake breakout and the market went down. It doesn't matter when the next candle is formed, we will exit the trade. Okay. Now, after some time, you saw this fake breakout, right? And here again, we got a bearish confirmation candle. So when the next candle opens, we can enter. We will enter here. When the next candle opens, our stop loss will be this level and target will be when is the next bullish candle we got this level, right? When the market is getting weaker and weaker, we can get prepared. We are not exiting the trade here because both the side it has weak during a downtrend only when we get a bullish candle, we will exit the trade. After this, can you see the market went up? Now again, I can see we got one more trading opportunity here. Here also 10 period moving average is below 30 period moving average. We got a bearish confirmation candle here. So we enter the trade when this next candle opens anywhere in this next candle, this candle stop loss, the swing high target when we got the bullish candle. Sometimes you might get less risk to reward, but the consistency of you making profit will be high with this strategy. So this is how you need to take entry when the market is bearish. Okay. 10 period moving average has to be below the 30 period moving average. You should get a bearish confirmation candle. The next candle is where we enter. Traders, the strategy what I'm giving you is after back testing this with so many charts, even you do the back test, you see how it works in the actual market, then you will only know the consistency of the strategy. Now let us see an example of what we need to do when the market is bullish. Okay. Traders, what you're looking at right now is a chart of ITC one hour time frame. What I can observe here is the market was trading within a range here. The market was in consolidation phase. At this time, we do not take any kind of trade. After that, there was a small fall. After this fall, we can see that the market started forming low, high and higher lows. Now, when market is forming higher low, this is a confirmation for uptrend. We are not going to take a trade. It is just a confirmation. So we will wait and plan our entry. Now, if I switch to Heikanashi candlestick pattern on a one hour time frame, we can see the same thing. The market trading in range and then it started forming low high and higher lows. Now traders, this is the level where we will plan our entry. Now before we plan our entry, first thing what we need to do is we need to use 10 period exponential moving average and 30 period exponential moving average. Now as soon as the market formed low, high, higher low, 
we will plan our entry during an uptrend how do we plan our entry we enter the trade when this yellow line 10 period moving average is trading above the 30 period moving average so this candle this green bullish candle is our confirmation candle for entry we will enter the trade when the next candle opens stop loss will be this level and target you can only see what good move the market gave here you can observe there are weak candles okay but we do not have any red candles like this bearish candle which will be our exit till we will be in this trade now my sincere advice for all of you is try trading with this strategy on a higher time frame like one hour time frame four hour time frame don't go below that or else you will start getting false signals let me show you let me switch to 30 minutes time frame now the same candle the market from low high higher low right this 10 period moving average is above 30 period moving average so this candle is our confirmation candle right it is about 10 period average we will enter when the next candle opens maybe here stop loss here but what happened as soon as the market went up like this even though we are in profit it gave us a false signal for exit. If you start trading on a lower time frame using the Haikan Ashi, you will start getting some false signal for entry because Haikan Ashi is taking an average of the previous candle, right? I shared the formula with you some time back. So the lesser the time frame you go, the more confusion the market will create. You can see there are some confusion here. Yes, of course, here you got exit point. Okay, if you would have exited here, again, you got an entry confirmation in this green candle. Again, you got a bearish confirmation for exit. To avoid the confusion, start trading with the strategy on a higher time frame. You can use this strategy in trading stocks, Nifty, Bank Nifty as well. In futures, you can trade. If you trade in options because of the time decay, there might be some issues for you. Don't go to trade with 5 minutes, 2 minutes or 1 minute. Now that you know the strategy, Go and backtest the strategy with as many charts as you can. Backtest the strategy with all the stocks in Nifty 50. Then you will only realize how well the strategy works. After you backtest, start trading with a small quantity. You can increase the quantity or the lot size when you gain more confidence. So traders, this is how the strategy works. If you have any doubts, Please mention that in the comment section below. Now it takes a lot of time for me to create such content for you. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. If you think this video will be useful for your friends, please share it with them. Now that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.